Hey guys, it's Juliette and welcome back to the Cullen Jewelry YouTube channel. So today we've got a very exciting video for you. We are going to be looking at three of the most famous royal engagement rings. We're going to be looking at Queen Elizabeth, Princess Diana slash Kate and Meghan Markle. So first up, we have Queen Elizabeth's engagement ring, which she actually wore for over 70 years. So Prince Philip proposed to Elizabeth all the way back in 1947. The ring featured a three carat round cut center stone and was surrounded by a cluster of smaller diamonds. The diamonds he used though, were actually in his family long before this. They were taken from a tiara gifted to him by his mum, Princess Alice of Battenberg. At the time, Prince Philip actually wasn't very well off, so he couldn't afford a ring fit for the future Queen of England. This is why Princess Alice gifted him the tiara with the intention that he would use the stones for her ring. This is where it gets interesting though. So the tiara originally was a wedding gift to Princess Alice all the way back in 1903. It was actually a gift from no other than Alexandra and Nicholas, the former emperor and empress of Russia, meaning the diamonds in Queen Elizabeth's ring actually originated from the Romanovs. The Queen's ring didn't use up all the diamonds, so the stones that were left over were actually transformed into a bracelet, which ended up being a wedding gift to Queen Elizabeth. She was seen on many occasions wearing the bracelet, and now we see it on Kate, the Princess of Wales. So the estimated price of Queen Elizabeth's ring is $230,000, but of course, because of its historical significance, the ring would actually be priceless and unlikely would ever go to auction. Moving on to Princess Diana's ring. So Princess Diana's famous ring is a 12 carat oval sapphire surrounded by 14 round cut diamonds. At the time, this ring actually created a bit of controversy within the royal family. Princess Diana chose this ring herself from a selection of royal jewels, as well as rings from their own personal jeweler. But it caused controversy as the ring she ended up selecting was actually from the jeweler's catalogue, meaning anyone could have bought it. At the time, it didn't sit well with the royal family as they didn't want commoners being able to have the same access to jewels fit for the royal family. At the time, the ring cost around $60,000, but today its estimated worth is over $400,000. But again, because of the ring's historical significance, it's priceless. After Princess Diana's death, Harry actually inherited the ring, but he later gifted it to Prince William. Due to the ring's history, Harry wanted the ring to stay close to the crown and now sits upon the finger of Kate, the Princess of Wales. And last but not least, Meghan Markle. Her famous trilogy design boasts a three carat elongated cushion center stone. The two round stones you see on either side of the center stone also originated from Diana's personal jewelry collection. It has an estimated value of 155,000, but again, like the previous two rings, because of its historical significance and containing two stones from Diana's collection, the ring would be priceless. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.